Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. I'm riding on a villager. Yo, check this out. This is the coolest server feature I've ever seen. Yo, that parkour baby. Welcome to an amazing server. Oh, we're here. Known as Island Clash. Check this out, baby. Welcome to a brand new series, Island Clash. Island Clash is like an RTS strategy game where you collect gold, take over islands, get resources, and be an overall boss. I used to play StarCraft when I was younger all the time. Go tear and race for life. Anyways, the coolest part is it's actually owned by my friend who used to work on my old server from like two or three years ago, The Helm. It's Jed. Jed, my man. I'm on your server, baby. You guys should be on the server as well. It's play.islandclash.com. Everything needs going to be in the description of the video. It is fully fledged. GUI out the wazoo. We got so many options. The server is wild. What we're going to do is make ourselves an island and start taking over other people's islands. And I want you guys to be a part of the fun as well. So make sure you join the server. You can fight against me. There's different races. The whole nine yards. Ooh. Robot squad. Hint, hint. Now, right now, we want to make our very own island, so you can do that by just right-clicking the clock, and then you click the boat. The islands. Before we bother the captain to make us an island, though, we're going to need to get some gold. Yes, precious monies on the island clash. Isn't that right, Doofenshmirtz, level 11? Oh, wow, you're strong. Now, the easiest way is just going to be to buy it. You can find a link to the store in the description. You can only buy it for like a little bit longer because they're getting rid of all the EULA stuff that you can't get. But there are tons of free alternatives now, which I'm going to show you about. Show you about, I say, right now. First one is actually right by spawn. It is the post year. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But you can actually right click this villager here to collect daily, voting gold, all that good stuff, you see? So check it out. We got all these rewards. Mmm, I like this. I'm gonna claim it. Reward number one. So we just claimed it. We just got 25 gold for doing that. Thank you, Mr. Postier. You can actually visit him every day as you- Look at all this stuff. Oh, I love it. We're getting all the gold. Wait, I gotta vote. Mmm. So you can go to any of these links to vote and you get gold for doing that. Oh, perfect. Every once in a while around spawn, gold will literally spawn in game and then you gotta go collect it. And you can see I just collected it by walking over. We got 10 extra gold doing that. And look, it's literally all over the place. You just have to find it around spawn when you do. You get some free, but you almost find some. Look, don't ask how I got up here, okay? That's not the point. We got some gold here, and I just right-clicked it, and we go back. Yeah! Getting it! We already got 70 gold! You only need 500 for an island. This is going to take no time at all. What a horrible sound. Finally, you can actually just do parkour in the lobby to get gold as well. If you complete it, you get some sweet monies for your I'm failed. Finally, if you're ever confused about how you can make more gold, you can type slash FAQ in game to get a list of different questions you can ask, and you can just type FAQ1 to get an example of how you might get some gold. Alternatively, in an upcoming update, you'll be able to learn everything you need to know from Peppy the Advisor about Island Clash by just right-clicking on them, and you'll get actual building tutorial worlds. That's coming in an update later today, actually. So by the time you guys join, it should be, ooh, some gold. You'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. 20 go Oh, more gold. Hey, hold on a second. Or you can just be like me and hold your own head. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just bought gold. I just spent about $20 on the server. You know, Jed's an old friend. Like I said, he worked on my last server, and I figured this is an awesome server. We got to have a lot of exciting stuff. So I just bought it. Good way to support the server doing that. All the same, though, we now have more than enough money to make our first island. And I'm not going to use all this gold at once. I'm probably going to use it over the course of the entire series. Speaking of, this is only going to be a weekly series. We're only going to do these once a week. So, you know, stick around. It's not going to be overloaded with Island Clash. Gold lasts us a while. Show your support for the series by dropping a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see the other episodes. And make sure you join the server. Play with me. Now, the islands. Captain Adama, we got more than enough gold for your needs. You right-click the captain, you've got two options right off the bat. You can make your own island, which is what I'm going to do, or you can join an existing island, which if you don't want to buy gold, if you don't want to collect gold, you want to just get into the action right away, you can literally just click this, and you'll be given some islands that you can join right away. You can also just type quick join in game like that, and you'll be able to join an island instantly. But like I said, I want my own island. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Create, it's gonna cost 500 gold. You get a choice of what civilization you want. 
Ooh, they're all the same. It's all cosmetic differences. That's the that's the only main change between each race. But they are sweet. Some of them cost money. Some of them are free. I think the human one is free. You actually, they're actually seasonal. But we don't want elves. We want robots. Ooh, I'm choosing the robots. Now the robot one actually costs money. You'll have to buy that one. But if you want to join Robot Squad, that's how you do it. Okay, what should my island be? Hmm. Log dot land. It's got a nice ring to it, you know. I like it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> we have our very own island now. Or actually, it's loading at the top here. I don't know if you can see. Boom, right up here. You see at the top, I can't actually, my chat's disabled so that people don't spam the chat. But if you look right by my head, uh-huh, the island is loading in. It's really cool. Your timer, it's similar to like Clash of Clans. You'll have an island immunity where other people won't be able to attack your island while well, you can go attack theirs. But right as you start your island, you have a 45-minute immunity period for you to get your island ready. So, for the remainder of this episode, we are going to be building up our island, gathering resources, and getting ready to start crushing the souls and dreams of other people. Hey! Teamwork! All right. So, we've got some load island protection. That you get no matter what at the start of all of your loading and unloading of islands. Your island is unloaded if you are the only person... Or if there's no one at your island. If there's one person on it, you will get loaded either way. We have no resources. We need to start getting resources. Two. One. Now, island protection is gone, but we have that shield duration, like I said. You have a few different... Like, hey, what's up, Jora? Ooh. I think I'm located at a rare island. But I need more funding. If you talk to me in the hub, we can do some fundraising in order to speed up the progress. Here is your menu. These are all the different things you can do. Warfare, building management, and player management. We need to get some resources. So, we're outside our main town hall. Everyone starts with the town hall. If your town hall gets destroyed at any time, you will lose your island. Do not let this baby get destroyed. Go to right-click your clock. Go to building management. You'll see here we have ourselves a town hall. We want to actually start upgrading some of these things. We want to upgrade our town hall. Now, upgrade is going to cost us some stone, you see? Stone. 150 stone to upgrade. We don't actually have enough stone right now, so we need to head to our mine. You'll go back to building management, and you'll find yourself the mine. You can teleport to it instantly, or you can upgrade your mine. We want to upgrade our town. Ooh, what the heck? This place looks crazy. Do I have a resource pack on or some up here? It might just be the robot. I think it's the robot mine. Yeah, kill it. So... What's good, Minnie the Miner? I will go ahead and grab me a wood pickaxe. Costs two gold. Not bad. All right, so we got a wood pickaxe. Now we need to head into the mine and start collecting coal, stone, things of that nature. You see, love it. What do we get? We got, we got one stone. So this is technically the stone. You don't get to mine this. You don't get stone for that. This is the stone that you're mining. Now, you don't have to upgrade your town hall first thing. I'm just a strategist, and the thing is, if you want to get higher upgraded buildings, you need your town hall to be higher upgrade, because none of your buildings can be higher tiered than your town hall. Occasionally, you'll get a cave-in that happens when you are mining, and it allows you to get a bunch of bonus ores. You get a limited amount of ores and time to mine all of them, but you can look forward to that. Oh, I love it. Just like random events. Oh, it brings me back to my RuneScape days. Whoa. Robbery is requesting to join Log.Land? Someone's trying to rob me? Already? Maybe it's a player. Hmm, let's check. All right, I'll go to my compass. Player management. Whoa, we got some serious amount of people requesting. So robbery is a person. Pikachu wants to join as well. We'll go to town square. Recruits. Ooh, people that want to join. Okay, so we've got Pikachu and robbery. Um, well, I mean, Pikachu's great, but I, I'd rather be robbed. You know, it just makes sense. Okay. So we've accepted them. Hey, is that somebody? Yo, that's somebody. Villager robbery. Am I about to, uh, am I actually being robbed? <laughs> Did I just make a big mistake? Hey, yo, what's good? Yo, I love it. Okay, robbery, robbery. It's got a nice ring to it. I love robbing people. Uh, help me mine? Yeah. Please? I hope so. Yeah, good. All right, so we're working on our main town hall. Sounds good. We'll be back. So we just finished up our first stack of stone. You deposit it over at the warehouse. So we'll go to building management, find ourselves the warehouse, teleport right to it. Once we're at the warehouse, find the chest, deposit. We just deposited a lot of stone. We got 64 stone. We got an achievement as well. 
Whoa! And we got 170 gold for doing that? Yo, gold comes easy. Crazy. I love it. Okay, so we need to get a little over 100, a little less than 100 more stone. Whoa, I got a cave-in. Click tiles with the same item to remove all the... Oh, no way, cave-in. Hey, I can't believe I just got this. Yo, excellent. It's like Candy Crush or something. What? Yo, this is sick. This is so neat. What is happening right now? Yo, click them all. Dude, kill this. Getting all the points. Two points per item. Yo, get it. This is so neat. Oh, ow, wow. And robbery just got a key. Dude, cave-ins. Wow. Wow. I love it. We got 11 stone and points. I got a cave-in. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. This is sick. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and deposit now. Yo, now we got enough stone. Excellent. Let's go ahead and, well, let's, let's give thanks first. Thanks, man. Yeah. So. We are going to upgrade our town hall. We go to building management, town hall, upgrade. Look at it upgrading. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Ooh, ooh, wow. What the heck just happened? Oh, it's literally building. This is the best part. I peeked at the island before. You can watch your buildings be made. Like, it's being made in front of my very ears. And eyes, I suppose. But ears mostly, because I hear it. Mmm, sounds delicious. Ooh, sick. So this person's telling me, alright, it's time for war camp. So we're gonna make ourselves a war camp. What do we need to get a war camp while that baby's building? Ooh, order a new building. Hey, I like this! We got the new building option. War camp. Ooh, this one costs 45 stone. Alright, so we need to get more stone. Ooh, an achievement. Stone Mason. And I got some influence. Yo, kill it. Yo, I'm the best. Nice. <laughs> All right, so our new friend who helped us get some stone is leaving for the time being. Thanks, dude. You're the man. I love it. Maybe they'll join us for some more adventures in the future. Woo! So we got enough stone to now make a new... Oh, what is it called? The War Camp. I can't wait to show you how to place things now. So, menu. Building management. New building. You ready for this war camp? Yeah, you know I want to place this. I already have a building because I gotta wait. Oh no! Wow. So building is now finished. Someone used to scroll for me. I guess you can do that. Someone used to scroll to make it go faster. It's actually something you can get on the store too. So we got a scroll. Town hall building is done. So now that this building is upgraded, we can use the remainder of our shield time to build another building. Hmm. I think we're gonna go for that building I was trying to build before. You know the war camp. We'll get ready to start some wars. We've got a schematic block. Place this to construct the building. Well, I don't know if I want the war block to be right all up by my, you know what I mean? We don't want it right by the command center. Let's place the war camp in its own little designated. I'm liking that. I think that sounds great. Right over here. Ah, uh, with this jumping, it's good. We can see the vast nothingness from here. The emptiness of war. And there's some ice and stuff. So, let's place you. I'll place you right. Yeah. Nice. I like that. So that's kind of exactly where it would be placed. Right click the workbench again. I don't know about that. We want to go ahead and delete the preview. So we'll move you over just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And we'll place you right here. Yo, I like that. It's only got a little bit cut off. All right, we'll move over one more. That looks great. Okay, boom. Confirm, place you. Are you being built? Oh, you are. Hey, excellent. Oh, I can see it. it's starting to, right? Where's it being built from? Is it starting underground? It's starting underground, you monster jed with your crazy updates. All right, well, we're gonna let that thing build then, huh? My shield has 15 minutes left. When this expires, you'll be vulnerable to attacks from other islands. Talking to the War Camp NPC allows you to manage your war inventory. Yo, I think it's done already. What the heck? Oh, man. Yo, that thing built quickly. I mean, it said it was going, like, it was already at 7% by the time we're at the bridge. Let's see what we got. I was about to go check out the War Camp, but it might be wiser to go check out our build. Well, I guess this is the War Camp. Hey. Not bad. I am ready for this. All right, Mr. War Camp. General Grumpy. Yo, he's mad. I would be, too, if my place looked like this. What you got for me? War inventory. War inventory. Wait, can I... Can I keep things in here? This is not a war item. Oh, we can only keep war items. Interesting. I'm on to you. I guess for the time being, we should go ahead and start mining again and get some more stone. Because we want to make a weaponsmith. And I think that requires 
60 stone. So we will do that. Key drop. Yeah. What is up with all these great freebies? So we literally just got ourselves a key. Where do I where do I get my key? Do I it is just it's just attached to my account. I bet you you can actually use keys to open up special cargo crates at spawn as well I guess we can temporarily just take a quick break and do that sir Chesterly at spawn is who handles the cargo crates now I believe I did just get myself a key so we should be able to do something with this sir Chesterly cargo Crates. What's the difference again? Right, so crates are cosmetic rewards and cargo are useful rewards. Now, I think I got a cargo key, right? Small cargo, it costs one small chest. I think I got that. Didn't I get one? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you can't get that. We gotta go back. The cosmetics, let's see. Magic crates. Yeah, weak magic key. Yeah, I just got one. Yo, E, we're gonna get something good. I, ho I mean, I hope I get something good. Leather, I don't want leather. What is this? Oh. Hey, a tier one. We got a song. We could have got a gadget. I got a song. Ooh, I love it. Okay, well, let's see what we got instead. So, you can actually use these. I think there's a backpack, radio. Hey, we got the song. Hey, kill it. <gasps> no way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. No way. How funny is this? How funny is What was that? Is that from the song? Yo, crush it! Yo, the, the cutest little guy! Oh, I love this server already! Alright, anywho, we're back on our island and things are looking a lot nicer. Let's get back to mining, baby. We got Bidnia to attend to! Alright, we should have enough now. We're gonna go ahead and deposit all this real quick. We're in our warehouse. Deposit you, make you look real good. And now, we should be able to buy a new building. So, order a new building. Let's make ourselves a weaponsmith. Mm, I like it. So we almost had to use up all the stone. We can put the weaponsmith. I want the weaponsmith near the to be able to. You know, I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna place it right here. War camp needs to be strategic, placed far away from anyone trying to spy on our plans. You know, stuff like that. Now wait a second. Let me place. Is, oh, is it not not enough room? Is that what it is? Ooh, there we go. Hey. Yo, I like this. Warehouse right now. I mean, it just makes sense, really. All right, sucker, build. So now we got to wait for this guy to build. It's going to take a little bit, but I'm excited. Yeah. Honestly, easily my favorite thing, just watching the buildings build. It's so neat. Oop, the floor's coming in. Yo, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. Let me get stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Hey, that's adorable. <laughs> Look at me. Hey, this is fun. Whoa, check out the good. You see that over there? Oh. Oh, 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 oh no, what's happening? Just kidding, I just jumped. Well, my friends, the timer is going to continue to build this thing, and our shield duration is coming to a close. That is where we're going to do it for the first episode of Ivan Clash. Join us next week. Again, next week. You should see some more progress done to the place, and we should be ready for some war. Resources gathered, crush some soul. I will be recruiting, so... Show your support for the series. Come check out log.lan on play.islandclash.com. If you're good enough to join, you might be able to help me take over some scrub warlords who think they got it going bossing over. Really, but they don't. Leave a like if you enjoyed and you want to see the next one in a week. Uh, it's coming in whether you like it or not. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to see it right as it comes out. And with that, was well, this already done? Yo, hold on. I may as well show you. I mean, really, look at this. Look at this. Gosh, this is so cool to watch. Like, oh, uh, like it's so cool to watch. Oh, I ain't even mad. But it looks like it's still got a little bit more time before it's anywhere close to being done. So we're going to let it do its thing. Catch you later, my friends. We will see you in the next one.